Hello folks, Sam Owens here with my new Hero 11. I uh, wish I had have gotten this before now. I have the uh, Hero 8 and uh, it has been great, but there's uh, some limitations when I do my product video. Uh, it doesn't have the display screen on the front. Well, the Hero 11 uh, has a display uh, of what uh, the camera is uh, recording. So let's go in and look at this and see why I'm so excited about it and want to share it with you. Comes with a fine looking case, which I, I really like. Let's get in here. Um, uh, right in here, let's pull this out. This is the information about the camera. And before you can do anything when it's brand new, you got a note here. Your camera must be updated before you can use it. That's absolutely true. You come on, you turn it on, and all you get is Hero 11 on the uh, uh, on the front screen. Uh, so they give you some uh, nice little instructions here, which are quick, quick and easy to uh, view. And there is the uh, QR code for the app that you'll need. And uh, here they're showing you some basics of how to insert the battery and uh, the memory card and uh, to plug it in. And right here, you have, uh, I haven't found anything in there uh, other than legal information and stuff. Uh, there is a, um, online you can uh, download the user manual, uh, which has all the details about working with the features of the camera, which you really need to download. So just get online and look for, uh, Hero 11, um, GoPro Hero 11 user manual download, and you'll find it. Let's look in here at what else you get. Well, you get a, a charging cord. Now, you don't get a charger, uh, or you don't get a battery charger. Uh, you get the camera, of course, right here. This is it. And it says 11 on it. And it's got the little fold out uh, ears uh, for mounting it. They give you a mount here. And they also give you a base in case you want to mount it, mount it on a helmet. Uh, for all the action things, uh, skiing, motorcycling, bicycling, they figure that's the most popular one. They do make flat ones and there's all kinds of accessories. Okay, let me just put this over here. You also get a battery, and guess what? They changed the size of the battery. So, uh, none of your other Hero uh, camera batteries like my 8 will not work. This battery is a little bit larger, and they have a name for it. Uh, I can't even remember exactly what it is, but you're going to have to buy a new battery charger uh, if you want to uh, put a couple of batteries, or they even have one that you can put a, a, a bunch of batteries in and charge them. So get ready to invest in a, a multi-battery charger if you're going to be out and need uh, to re, uh, replace the batteries frequently, uh, you're going to want to invest in that. So if you have other... Um, batteries to some of your other model GoPros, they're not going to work. So that's something. Right in here is your little uh, screw drive here, or tightener, that's going to tighten that up to the, uh, uh, to the base here. But I'm not going to put that on just yet. Okay, now that's all you get, and that's everything will fit in there, basically, uh, of just what you've got here. It won't accommodate too much more, other than maybe a couple of other batteries. Uh, off the bat, I am very impressed with it. Uh, it's very smooth. Uh, when you move the camera, it's really smooth. Uh, it's not jerky and all of that. It, 
let's look at uh, how to um, change the battery or put the battery in even it comes without the battery and right over here holding it like this on the left hand side is a little catch right here and if you look carefully right here you put your fingers I put two of them under there and just pull down and when you pull down see it will release this catch right here now let me while I've got this open uh, if you're going to get the case that goes with it with a microphone up here which uh, I recommend I've got that too uh, pull this out like this and just pull straight out and that's what the end looks like there's times you're going to want to operate the camera without this uh, especially if you're going to to put it in the case that uh, is available that has a, a, a high uh, level microphone that really picks up really good sound so that you can put the battery uh, battery in there and uh, a memory card right here so it'll take quite a level memory card I use like 64 to do my video it's just fine uh, the colored side out and you stick it right in there and then you take your fingernail and you push down and then it'll get to a point where it stops and then release and it'll stay in there so that's what it looks like and when you look in there you can tell which way the battery goes because the contacts are right in there in the upper side of it and so uh, after a little bit you'll decide which way uh, the little tab the little pull tab has to go down when when the camera is faced like that and see it'll line up just perfect and uh, the writing can be toward the uh, screen and that's another clue because you'll put them in one <laughs> you know the wrong way in the very beginning so adopt a, a method there and you just pull it off push it all the way in and when you do you'll get a little beep of light coming out of it all the heroes do that okay now uh, I'm gonna leave that off because uh, later I'm gonna show you uh, mounting the case around it the uh, the accessory I was telling you about okay she's all set right now and to turn it on uh, here is the power button right here that turns the the um, unit on also, these buttons are going to be useful along with the, the capture button up here to manipulate the uh, features. Uh, that's how you're going to do it, is click this sometime and it'll change the feature and you click this and it gives you additional information. So between these two buttons, this is like your movement buttons. That's why you need uh, to download the user guide because without it, uh, you're, you're running blind and it'll take much longer to uh, figure out uh, how to use the camera. So, uh, but it's pretty easy if you just want to turn the camera on and start shooting video and, or, or take photos, you can do it right out of the box. It has uh, easy, uh, easy method or pro method of operating the camera. If you choose easy, which uh, it kind of defaults to, you'll be shooting video without even going through any kind of changes. Uh, you'll be happy. So if you're not a real techie guy, you can operate this right out of the box without having to know a whole lot of uh, all about all the features. Uh, the extra features are in there for the guys that really want to capture certain aspects uh, that you have to manipulate uh, settings in there and uh, if you just want to get great uh, shots you can do it all right let's turn it on and see what happens you just push it a, a nice little click and it'll turn on click and there it came on and see the front screen shows 11 and then you get all of the things that uh, is set up um, right here my battery is 97% uh, and my memory card 
uh, I've got uh, an hour and 59 minutes at the uh, video resolution that I have. The higher the resolution, uh, the lower the amount of record time. So uh, if that's important, you can change the resolution in there to, uh, to save your battery a little bit. Plus there's some other things. So, but it's ready to shoot right now. I can get really great uh, video. And I'm going to capture just uh, the camera. This is my old Hero 4. So to capture, start recording, I click this, just one click. And as soon as I do, you're going to see a light flashing. And you're going to see a red number count showing uh, uh, the, um, the time that it's recording. And then right here is the backside, which is much bigger. And look at that. And look, when I move, look how it just glides. It's not jerky up and down. Absolutely smooth. And that's great. You, you can hold it and, and not have to worry about it jumping around. So, uh, this is my old Hero 4, and look at the Hero 4, the back of it. Remember those days? Oh, boy. Uh, but it was a good camera at the time, and I really enjoyed it. Okay, now I'm going to turn it off, Capture, by pressing the button up here, and bam. Okay, now... It showed one uh, video has been captured. Now, let's say I want to see that video. Look how easy it is. You take your finger and swipe up. And then it automatically goes into play. See, everything that I recorded. Now, if I want to stop it, I can pause it. If I want to delete it, I can delete it. So I click and then delete. Is that not easy? And no more media. If there was, I can swipe across and see more. Now to get back uh, to the live shot, I go to the top and swipe down. Now I'm into my live shot that I can record more video. Uh, or I can change and go to uh, uh, to pictures. And the way you do that is you, right here, you just slide across and you can go to time, video, or uh, pictures. Right there, I could take a picture of my workbench because I'm in uh, the camera and I just hit the click. Bam. Okay, if I want to see that, I click up, and there's the shot. And here would show me more. There are, there are no more pictures, so uh, that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete it. A lot of times you just want to see something. <clears throat> if there's no more, it shows no media. Go down. Now to get back to the um, video, I just move it, and bam, I'm back to video. Okay, to turn it off, you go over to the button, and you have to hold it a couple of seconds, two or three seconds. Hold. And then it'll go off. But to go on, you just click it one time. That is the basic operation. Now, if I want to put this uh, back on, what you do is grab this end, same way I took it off, put it at an angle just like this, and then push. And then once I do, I pull down and then push up, and that's back into place. This is a great camera, and all the features make it just tremendous. It also comes, uh, you can operate it with an app. Let's see the app in operation, which you have to download to up, uh, uh, upgrade or actually, uh, uh, you have to update it before you can use it. Well, you have to have the app to do that. So here's the way the app looks for me. It's Quick Pro, GoPro Quick. Click on it, 
Camera connection lost. Check your GoPro. Get it? Okay, and then it connects with Bluetooth. Tap to power on. So it's already connected right there. Sam Hero 11 Black. I'm connected to the camera. And it says to turn it on. And watch this. I turn it on. I click here. Look what it did. It just turned the camera on. <clears throat> Upgrade your SD card. Uh, now, <clears throat> I have a good grade card, but they want you to get the absolute best. I don't need to do this. So don't uh, show this again. And then, got it. It's connected. And then you get this screen right here. And right now, I could put this over here. And I can record right here. Let's see, GoPro and use. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to record. Look, it's starting to record right now. And I can see myself in there. And right here, eight seconds, I can stop it. <clears throat> so. You can remotely set your camera up in the area for the shot you want, and then stand back and operate and view what is being recorded. So it's really great, the app is, and it works flawlessly. But I wanted to basically show you that <clears throat> just with the connection, you can operate the camera and uh, have it to uh, do what you need. Uh, you got to see what the uh, app does basically and that's a good feature it turns the camera on and uh, now I can just turn it off press and hold and there you go <clears throat> folks I think you will really enjoy this camera if uh, if you have one of the previous uh, models GoPro and you thought it was great. This is quite a bit better. Just the front screen right there is a is a plus that uh, I can't <laughs> imagine uh, doing without it now. I want to thank you for watching my video.